Yeah, guys, this is a strange one. The burglar came through the ceiling. Well, then she tried to leave out the front door. When that didn't work, she picked up this bowl of candy, walked over to the couch, and turned on the TV to wait for police. A tattoo shop and self proclaimed house of horrors. Things like this and this are normal here, but this. Everything's been destroyed, you know. We're going to have to close today and maybe even this weekend. The sign above the door says enter at your own risk. Last night, caught on store cameras, this woman entered about the riskiest way possible through the ceiling. It's kind of ridiculous that someone can just come up here and ruin all of our stuff so fast and something we've worked so hard for. Damage expected in the thousands. Today, the shop is empty, except in this corner, where employees put down their tattoo guns for a seat around the TV. What is she doing? Watching in disbelief as a woman ransacks the store. <laughs> this is like almost like Jerry Springer. But if you think all this is pretty strange, it's about to get weirder. Here, she grabs a seat on the couch to watch TV and wait for police. She scribbles these messages to officers. This one reads, I'm not living in sin. Maybe not, but after the cops rush in and take her down, she is living, at least for a few days, in the county jail. Brian Shlonsky. Oh, man. KOCO 5 News. Uh, that's